welcome to Living by Design. I'm Faith Ellisor and we have a fantastic show for you today. We are going to focus on some of the greatest kids that God has put on this earth and we're going to be talking to the head of school from Lighthouse Private Christian Academy, Joanna Johannes. Stay with us. You don't want to miss it. We'll be right back. Crows and Company Salon, located at 9466 Navarre Parkway in Navarre, Florida, is proud to sponsor Living by Design with Faith Ellisor. Whether young or young at heart, let Crews and Company give you a style that will turn heads. Crews and Company offers the most innovative techniques for all members of the family in hair coloring, absolute pampering in our nail salon, as well as the most chic and contemporary hairstyling. Waxing and other grooming services are offered as well. You may contact Crews and Company at 85 85- Gadsden Street United Methodist Church, located at 901 East Gadsden Street in Pensacola, welcomes you to worship with us this Sunday. Our relaxed worship service begins at 1030 a.m. and Sunday school for all ages is at 911. Pastor Bobby Ellisor and the congregation invite you to join them throughout the year for exciting events and opportunities to meet new friends. Find us online at GadstonStreetMethodist.com or on Facebook. You are loved and welcome at Gadsden Street United Methodist Church. you've chosen to be with us today. You know, God tells us in His Word in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. We take that promise very seriously at Living by Design, and that's what we're all about. We want to live by the design that God has created us for. And today I have one of my very special dear friends, Joanna Johannes, is with us today, and she's the head of school of Lighthouse Private Christian Academy. Joanna, I'm so excited about this show. Thank you for We've having me. We've got some awesome kids with us today. Yes, we do. And you know how much I love the school. Yes. So we're going to just jump right into it today. I know that all the kids that are here with us today know the story, but for those who are watching us today, I want you to tell us about how Lighthouse started, where it all began. Okay. Well, it's a little over 10 years ago, and you've heard the stories about how God sometimes changes your life through disasters or blessings come out of disasters, and that's really what happened with Lighthouse. Um, Hurricane Ivan, we all remember that on the coast, Mm -hmm. um, came roaring through and we went through a lot of things back then, our family did. So I was sitting on the beach behind the house that once stood there and I was praying and I started to see in the clouds uh, Mm -hmm. pictures of kids and swings, Um, kids were crying and and laughing and it was then that I think God touched my heart and said it's time to start a school and I that was nowhere in my teaching that was nowhere in my background at that point it just it was a true calling that happened to me after the hurricane and there was a lot of schools that were shut down right and so that launched it and I remember when we've talked about this before too it was you you did not come from an educational background very business yes your your background and your history was in business all business Mm -hmm. and so you're going to go from all of these executives to these tiny little ones and the very first of its kind Mm -hmm. there's nowhere that we know of in the world Mm -hmm. it started where your campus was at the zoo the zoo. Yes. Um, we started out in a little fellowship hall behind a church. Mm-hmm. Um, that, that didn't last long because we outgrew it really quick. And so the Gulf Breeze Zoo um, needed some help too because they were going through some trouble. Right. And so we went ahead and leased their buildings. Uh, we ended up building some buildings right next to the zoo. And so now we do have the only school like this in the entire world and it's Lighthouse at the Zoo, right there in Gulf Breeze. So if you always thought that your kids were animals or (laughs) monkeys or needed to belong in a zoo, now they can, right? They can go to school with the monkeys. That's what I tell everybody. My son goes to Lighthouse. We're thrilled that he's at Lighthouse. He has been there his entire school career mm-hmm. and um, we tell people all the time he goes to school mm-hmm. with the monkeys right where he belongs. Mm-hmm. He's, no, he's right very there. smart and very well behaved. <laughs> well <laughs> because of life. Um, I know that mm-hmm. the um, zoo campus starts at what age? Zoo campus actually starts at age four mm-hmm. and it goes through the fifth grade 
Mm -hmm. And then we have a new campus that we just started, which I'll go into, is in Pensacola. And that starts at age three and goes through 10th grade. Through 10th yeah. grade. Mm -hmm. And so we um, started out at the zoo, started out at, as a small campus, mm -hmm. and now have expanded to a larger campus. And we're yes. going to talk a little bit more about that and when we come back. So stay with us at Living by Design and more on the zoo school when we come back. Yeah. Great cooks know the importance of adding herbs and spices to their dishes, and Only Herbs Gourmet Seasonings excite your taste buds, making you a bona fide culinary expert. Our products are all natural and contain no additives, sugar, preservatives, MSG, or food dyes. Try Only Herbs Gourmet Seasoning, and rest assured you're using only the best organic spices for all you do. Visit our website and try some today. The proof is in the tasting. Lighthouse Private Christian Academy is the leader when it comes to quality Christian education. Lighthouse Private Christian Academy offers technology, zoology, and kinetic education in classes as French, Spanish, journalism, iPad instruction, and much, much more. Offering classes from VPK through ninth grade, Lighthouse Private Christian Academy has campuses in both Gulf Breeze and Pensacola. You may contact Lighthouse at 850-889-2597. And welcome back. We are talking with Joanna Johannes, who is the head of school at Lighthouse Private Christian Academy. We were just talking about the fact that you know you have a school for I mean for kids <laughs> that, that they get to go to school with the animals yes. and um, at the zoo school. And so one of the things that you offer that is not offered anywhere else that I'm aware of is zoology. Yes. And so tell us a little bit about how the zoo plays into the education system at the school. I know it's on the same property, but how does that play into the education? Okay, well, the founder of the zoo really is Pat Quinn mm -hmm. and two other people. And so he's still very involved and his sons help us actually with the zoology. And we have it once a week and the children go out into the zoo with his two sons that started the zoo originally. And so they get a wealth of knowledge that they would not get anywhere else. And there are no other schools, like you said, that do that. Uh, we've also mixed it in recently with marine biology mm -hmm. because they're starting to segment there with aquariums and building coral and whatnot. So it's been a really, really neat experience for the kids. And we even have some that want to become zoologists now. And so they're starting like a young veterinarians group and a young zoologist group. And so it's been really great for them. So these, and these are all things that the public school system, due to funding or whatever mm -hmm. reason, has um, had to back away from a lot of the extracurricular activities and a mm -hmm. lot of the extra educational concepts. Mm -hmm. um, I know that some, they don't get to have music as much and things like that. So not only do you offer through the campuses, and we're going to talk a little bit about the Gadsden Street campus in Pensacola. Mm -hmm. um, you're able to offer them those extra things like the science and the... Oh yes, we are. We want them to have hands-on. We believe that they should have structured core curriculum in the mornings and in the afternoons do mostly hands-on. And so we do that through enrichment classes. So mm -hmm. we will have music, art, drama, um, zoology, marine biology. They have a robotics club. Um, they have their own creative writing club. We let the children choose based on their talents and their wants um, during the year and then they they can also form their own clubs with a group of kids we also have a glee club so it's just been really great for them because it allows them to not just do their core curriculum all day they also get to branch out and do those hands-on activities and experience what they like to do as well so they're happy at school well i know matthew my son mm -hmm. loves to go to school i can have him out of class for something if we have to go to a, um, a spiritual event or mm -hmm. retreat or something like that. And he's so upset with me because he had to miss school. Mm -hmm. He loves going mm -hmm. to school. And I know that part of that is because it is the entire child that you are so mm -hmm. encouraging. It's mm -hmm. not just academic, academic, academic. Mm -hmm. It is spiritual, it is mm -hmm. artistic, mm -hmm. and all of those things. You also were one of the first um, schools b ahead of your time that offered iPad mm -hmm. instruction. Mm -hmm. And yes. um, now almost all the children in the 
in the school get to mm -hmm. use an iPad, isn't that right? Yes, exactly. We believe in fostering the child's spirit is what mm -hmm. we want to do and we want them to love school. Mm -hmm. And so children love technology right. and so we do have iPads and so we uh, share a group of iPads between both campuses and so um, our Pensacola has them the most because that's mostly the older children. And so they have uh, technology instruction on the iPads once a week at the zoo campus. And they love it and they look forward to it. And we always make sure that the person teaching it is someone that's very versed. Mm -hmm. And so that they're learning something new instead of what they already know from working with them at home. So yeah. it's been really great for them to have the array of different activities at the school. And so many kids end up teaching us. You know, I, mm -hmm. I talk about how my smartphone makes me feel really not smart, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, and so my you know, nine-year-old son. So, hey, this is what to do, you know. <laughs> um, but we've talked a little bit. We've kind of mentioned about the Pensacola campus. So tell us about the Pensacola campus and how the bridge between the two campuses works. Okay. And well, you were involved, okay. And what happened was uh, we were having a Valentine's Gala, a fundraiser for Lighthouse at the Zoo. And so yeah, I think it was something that came over you and your husband at the time. But um, I was talking to the people there at the fundraiser mm -hmm. and afterwards you came over and said would you consider possibly putting a campus at Gadsden Street United Methodist Church and at the time I thought well you know we'll, we'll see what we can do we were very busy at the time and when I went over to visit you and Bobby at the church um, I really felt an overwhelming feeling like this is supposed to happen and I've always said it's not my school it's God's school he's right. grown it from the beginning um, he's led me through every step of the way. Mm -hmm. uh, push things out of the way so things go quicker, sometimes more quick than I, I want it to be. But when I came to the church and I, we all felt this overwhelming feeling like it was supposed to happen, um, that's when we started making headway and within six months we had a full campus um, at Gadsden Street happens. United. That never happens. Nothing ever goes no. through the channels that I, fast. I really mm -hmm. don't think it's possible mm -hmm. without God doing it. Right. And so um, one of the trustees there said, let's do it now. Let's not wait. And I said, well, how can we fill the campus and mm -hmm. start in a few months? Let's try it. And so we did it and God just led the way and we had the most amazing group of students there. And I am just so much at home and I feel like it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful campus there mm -hmm. on 9th and Jackson Street. And it is just, um, it's been a, a blessing and God's continuing to bless that campus like he has done with the zoo school. And that campus has um, four year kindergarten. It starts with pre-K, mm -hmm. right? Yes, it and does. And goes through 10th grade. Yes. And um, you have a bus system for the ones who live in the zoo school area, but want to come for middle school and high school you bust them back and forth. Yes. So parents mm -hmm. don't have to make that drive from that area into Pensacola. And I know yes. that we have a very capable bus driver. Yes, that, we do. That <laughs> takes them. And uh, we've actually got three, we've got two van routes that go through Pensacola. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, the school bus that picks up children at the zoo for the Navarre and Gulf Breeze parents and takes them across the bridge to the new Pensacola campus. It's, so been, it's been great. It's been great. We mm -hmm. have just so mm -hmm. enjoyed having mm -hmm. Lighthouse Private Christian mm -hmm. Academy mm -hmm. at the church mm -hmm. and the connection that we share mm -hmm. through that has been just mm -hmm. phenomenal. Now we're going to um, go to a break in just a few seconds, but mm -hmm. I know that um, there are many ways mm -hmm. that children can become involved and maybe some parents are thinking that I've always wanted my child at a private school, but the tuition is just something I can't mm -hmm. come across. Well, we have ways to get around that right? Yes, we do. So we're going to talk more about <laughs> that and maybe meet some of these wonderful kids when we come back. So stay with us at Living by Design. We'll be right back. The Ministry of Art is a lifelong treasure to be viewed by generations and Betty Schutman's Emmaus painting prints brings forth the majesty of God's kingdom right into your home. With countless varieties of originals, prints, limited editions, and more. So bless someone today with the images that will convey our Father's love forever from EmmausPainting.com. In the class, we got to shoot, edit, produce, direct all the things that I have dreamed of doing. You know, it was all hands on, teachers were great, classes were great. It was a fun experience, and I just didn't want it to end. 
great classes, top-notch instructors, I would recommend it to anyone. Because of digital media education, I can do what I want and get paid for it. There you go. <laughs> Hobby Lobby is proud to sponsor Living by Design with Faith Ellisor. Located at 6235 North Davis Highway in Pensacola, Hobby Lobby offers everything for the professional or beginner hobby enthusiast. Weekly specials and online discounts can be found at HobbyLobby.com. For specific needs or questions, you may contact Hobby Lobby at 850-478-4200. talking about the school and visiting with the kids and it's just been such a great conversation very informative and we were just talking about in the last segment that there are ways that parents who have always wanted their children to go to a public I mean a private school but maybe have not been able to overcome the hurdle of the tuition so yes. there are ways that that you um, uh, allow that to happen mm -hmm. military discounts I know and other things mm -hmm. so tell us mm -hmm. about that well in the state of Florida parents have many choices and mm -hmm. they don't realize it and this is actually school choice month and mm -hmm. so I hear that all the time we just can't afford private Christian school we would love for our children to be able to pray in school and do things like this mm -hmm. they do have a choice we have the step up for student scholarship and it's based on it's based on income level and it's a statewide average income level and so really it's not that low of a barrier mm -hmm. and so if you check it out on stepupforstudents.org you can see that Lighthouse is a nationally accredited school and it's one that accepts that scholarship. Uh, we also have the McKay Scholarship and McKay is for any child that has any special need at mm -hmm. all and that could be academics, um, that could be health, that could be behavioral, anything that has ever given them an IEP in a public school system um, allows them to interview at Lighthouse and possibly come to Lighthouse for free. Mm. Um, Step Up for Students and McKay Scholarships are both for free. And you help the, them with that. If someone contacts the school mm -hmm. and says, we really want to find out more information about this, you have mm -hmm. people on staff that will be more than happy to help walk them through the process, help them understand the questions and what yes. the steps are to go about acquiring that scholarship. And one thing that we also want to make very good mention of mm -hmm. is that all of your students have no less of a, what's the degree? They have to have at least a bachelor's? Or teachers. A teachers. Yes, our teachers have a minimum mm -hmm. of a bachelor's degree and they're all Florida certified teachers. And so many of our teachers have master's degrees. Right. And so we have a very highly trained staff. Uh, we have someone at each campus that has ESE experience. Right. Um, it's just been really great you know you would think that oh all private schools don't take these scholarships well Lighthouse does because you have to be a, an accredited school to get this type of rating to accept these scholarships right. so if you're out there and you're thinking I can't afford it we also if, if, if you don't fall under the step up for students for income or the McKay scholarship we also give military discount mm -hmm. uh, for large families we give multiple sibling discount uh, we also give a pastor's discount. Mm -hmm. um, it just, it depends. We have different variations of some reductions to the normal tuition. So anybody that's wanting to really get their child into a private Christian school that mm -hmm. is accredited, that mm -hmm. has high quality teachers, mm -hmm. wonderful mm -hmm. education system, mm -hmm. and all of the extracurricular things, because I know there's even some after school programs, you have sports, yes. you have basketball, golf, cheerleading. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. am I missing? I have some cheerleaders and some basketball players here today. Uh, we started volleyball. We're having a girls softball team this year. Um, we also do, we have an after school dance program mm -hmm. that's we're starting and so it's been really great as we've grown in all of our extracurricular um, activities. We're also doing ceramics this year as well. So um, last year we were league champions in basketball and we had 30 cheerleaders. Awesome. So it was great. <laughs> yeah, That's a lot of cheerleaders. <laughs> I had to get that in. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Well, we have mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. of the recipients of some mm -hmm. of the scholarships with us today mm -hmm. and as well as some other of your stellar students. And so they've got their mm -hmm. microphone. Yay. And what we want to do is we're going to let mm -hmm. you introduce the students as we come to them. And what we want to know is what is your favorite, your absolute favorite thing about going to Lighthouse Christian Academy? This is Sadie Beliveau first and you are in sixth grade aren't you Sadie? Fifth grade. She's really at fourth grade level as far as her age goes but she skipped a grade. What's your favorite part of Lighthouse Sadie? My favorite part of Lighthouse 
is either recess or lunch. Okay. <laughs> uh, now tell us why. Um, at recess we get to play whatever we want as long as it's not, it doesn't inc include tackling uh -huh. or anything. And lunch because you can talk and um, you don't have to worry about doing math. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I'm really glad you can't tackle because you would really hurt some of those boys if you can tackle. So I'm glad they don't let you tackle. Okay, and next we have? This is Isabella. What do you like the best about Lighthouse, Isabella? Um, I love everything about Lighthouse, but my favorite thing would be my teachers because you can always go to one of them if you need something or some, someone to be there. This is Jasmine, okay? And Jasmine has been with Lighthouse for a long time now and she does really well. Jasmine, what do you like best about Lighthouse? My favorite thing about Lighthouse is whenever we get to go to our, all of our classes because the teachers, they give you a lot of one-on-one -on -one help and like if you don't understand anything, they make sure that you understand it so that you can get a good grade on your test and everything. This is Colin and Colin is in sixth grade. My favorite part about Lighthouse is the athletic program because I think it's very cool that we get to play basketball and football with our friends after school. That's cool. Mm -hmm. This is Matthew. Matthew is from the zoo campus. Um, my favorite thing about Lighthouse is math because um, you can um, learn more and you'll get better grades. This is Kylin from our Pensacola campus. My favorite thing about Lighthouse is the teachers are there are really nice and they treat us the same way. And I like basketball there because it's a lot easier. And Lighthouse, my first school that got A on the roof before. Oh, congratulations. congratulations. This is Logan. I like Lighthouse because of PE, because um, I love sports and like basketball and football and stuff. And that's just what I do and staying fit and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> this is Kyla. I like Lighthouse because they show love and they treat us all the same and they they show respect to us and as we show respect to them. Aww. This is Maya. I love Lighthouse because it's just like a home away from home and everyone's really friendly and I just feel really welcome there. What is your favorite thing about Lighthouse, honey? My favorite thing about Lighthouse is math. Oh, very good. She's a smart girl. Yes. That's awesome. And what grade is she in? She is in third grade. Third grade and yes. loves math. Yes. Smart girl. Yes. You keep going. And she's only six years old. Oh my goodness. She is very, that very is amazing. bright. So. Well, these students are just a small sampling of the awesome mm -hmm. students that you have at Lighthouse. I know there's not ever a time that I walk into the school mm -hmm. that they're not smiling. And I know that some people are saying it sounds too good to be true. It's not. Mm -hmm. They are just mm -hmm. so excited to be at school. And I know that it's because of the Holy Spirit that you have instilled in that place. And every day they meet. They get to, they pray, they say the Pledge of Allegiance, they, and they lead, that's student led, and mm -hmm. that can't mm -hmm. happen in the public school. Mm -hmm. So I'm so grateful that we have a place like Lighthouse for the children to come, and, and that you have um, done this through the Lord's leading. Joanna, it's just been awesome. Mm -hmm. How can they get in touch with you? If they have questions or are looking for enrolling their child, or how can they get in touch with you? Okay, there are two main numbers that you can call. 850-542-7914 or 850-934-0180. And also visit the website at www.lighthousepca.com and all of the information is on there as well. There's a place for every child at Lighthouse, no matter what the issue is, whether they don't like school, whether uh, they're out of a district that they'd want to be in, there is a place for every child. And the McKay Scholarship is for children with special needs or children that have health needs that can't be accommodated in the public school system. And the Step Up is for children that have families, large families that fall into the income category. And you so. do have the, the a designated area um, that is equipped for children with special needs regardless of their age and that's mm -hmm. at the Gadsden Street campus. Yes, that really the Gadsden Street campus is the one campus where we focus on that. So we have a focus room is what mm -hmm. it's called and uh, we have a room with a big gorilla in it, Christmas lights 
to the top and if, if you have trouble um, focusing in the classroom you get a pass to go in there and be with the teacher to so you can maintain uh, the focus on your schoolwork. And parents are more than welcome to schedule yeah. with you a tour. You'll be glad mm -hmm. to give them a tour of either campus, wherever yes. they des desire to have their child, mm -hmm. and um, and then let them see the transportation methods and that sort of thing as well. Yes, and um, I personally will give any parent that calls a tour of the campus that they want to visit, mm -hmm. and we're starting enrollment right now for next year. and please call because the spots will not last at Lighthouse. A lot of families are trying to get in and now is the time to go on to stepupforstudents.org and find the scholarship that suits your child. Joanna, I am so honored that you were with us today and I can't say enough about how much I love Lighthouse. And I say that from a mother's heart. I say that as a mother who watches her son light up to go to school. I have a, I'm the mother of three sons. My older two did not light up like that to go to school. So I am just so thrilled that you were here. And we encourage you to be uh, in contact with Lighthouse if you're looking for a place to put your child. And you know, God has a special place for you and your child. There is no obstacle that he cannot overcome. There is no learning disability that he cannot see your child through. And maybe you have been struggling with that. Maybe you have thought, I don't know where this road is going to end. I need help. God is that first answer, the first answer to that cry. And we would love to pray with you about the issues that you're facing. If you would visit us at faithellisor.com, contact us. Let us know how we can pray with you. And we want to invite you now, if you've never asked Jesus into your heart, we want to invite you to pray with us right now. Father God, I just thank you that you sent Jesus Christ to die on the cross for my sins, that I can spend eternity in heaven with you. No matter what my past has been, you will erase it. You will give me a clean slate and you will make me bright as snow, super clean, Lord, in your presence. And I'm asking now for that gift. I accept Jesus. I accept him as my savior. I invite him into my heart and knowing that he will give me the strength to step out in faith on this new path. I thank you for that gift and I thank you now that you will abide in me and I will abide in you. I ask this now in the precious name of Jesus Christ, my savior, amen. If you prayed with us, visit us at faithellisor.com. Let us know of your decision. Let us celebrate with you. Until next time, we can't wait to see you on Living by Design.